How did you get into Airbnb? Well, you want the short version or the long version? Um, well, it started with the investment property we obviously purchased for our son mm -hmm. um, in Everett, Massachusetts, um, right next to the casino. Yeah. Great location, beautiful property. We renovated it. Um, and we were really intentional about how we um, created this space. And we just ran the numbers and we're like, okay, we could either rent these out for maybe $3,200 a month per unit um, and see a decent profit, or we can really just dive in and do Airbnb. And when we ran the numbers, we did the comps, it was just a no brainer. Um, and then when started in the Airbnb, it just made so much sense. And just doing research and like, okay, what are Airbnbs doing to be successful? You know, they're creating niches, they're creating themes, you know, being different, standing out. Like, how can we maximize our profit and make a lot of money? And I think we just took that. I took that and I just ran with it. And it goes from the simplest things like handwriting notes to my guests when they come into the property, just welcoming them. I spent hours creating a house manual that tells them where they can go shopping, where they can eat cool places to go, house rules, all the cool things in the household. And on top of that, I think everyone who vacations always wants to go somewhere that feels like home, but it's also as clean as a hotel, right? When you go in a hotel, the sheets are made, you feel like, you know, this place was prepared just for you. And I really wanted to make that feeling happen for people who are attending, who are guests at the Airbnb. So just really just taking that whole experiencing, that taking that whole experience and just making it times 10. Got you. So, but how, how does one get certified? Like, do you just open up shop and say, hey, this is an Airbnb? No. So the rules are different based on the state, the city. And, and in Massachusetts, it goes by the town, right? Mm -hmm. So Everett's rules and regulations are different from Boston, Massachusetts. So you definitely have to register um, the short-term rental with the state, the Secretary of State office. They give you a registration number. Um, and then you submit your tax forms online. They give you the register. Once you give the registration number, you go into Airbnb and it asks you for that registration number. And the cool thing about that is that Airbnb knows the state laws per state and city. So if, if they know that you're doing in, in Boston, they're going to ask you for the certificate or the special registration number for Boston, Everett, so on and so forth. Mm. So once I put that information in, it was like, all right, great. You're registered. I submit the necessary tax forms. And then you're able to create the online account for the Airbnb. But Airbnb does know. Um, depending on the state that you're registering the Airbnb for, what the, what you what you need and what's required.